guys how to install a rock climber bumper on your Jeep on the YJ. There's only like six bolts, but mine specifically, there's only two. There's only like two, two big bolts, it's only mine. This one and that one, but if you guys have a stock bumper, there's six. There's like two on top and there is like four on the bottom. So yeah, this bumper's gonna look so good on this Jeep. It's gonna look awesome. God damn. This bumper's gonna look super mean on this Jeep. It comes with the brush guard and some fog lights. getting in the way right now is this cover, this Jeep cover, and it's not putting in all the way, so I'm going to take that out, and then I'll just fill in perfectly. This looks awesome. Now I just have to install the fog lights in, the wires, and then that's it. Let's see how bright the fog lights are. Now to work on a part that everybody hates, the wiring. Let's see how the wiring of this fog lights are. It says it'll be pretty easy, but I don't know, I've never done this before. Could be pain in the ass. Well, it could be easy. There's only two wires. Oh, this is pretty sick. It's off and on. Black, obviously, is the ground. Red is the fire. Oh, shit. See, it's pretty easy. Pretty simple install. Whoa. So this relay, I'm going to bolt it on inside the engine bay and this is just the fuse box and then these two is going to go inside the car. I'm going from a low life to the lift life. Oh shit. You can't go wrong with that stance life though. All right, so my cameras keep dying. I need to buy some new replacement batteries for my camera. Uh, so um, that said, my camera died during the installation. The rock climber bumper is finally on. This is how it looks like. It fucking looks awesome, dude. Like I really love it. So I just want to show you guys like how we wired the fog lights in. Okay. 
could do this with one hand. No. Hold up. Glides are obviously over here, and the back of it, it just has some connectors, and you put the connectors all the way behind the grill. We brought that from the bottom of the grill up to the battery for the power source, and then the ground, we just put the ground into the bolt. Since this fog lights came with a power switch, um, it was on and off switch. I put it inside the firewall and inside the actual interior. Right there. Just like the on and off switch. Which, we actually went a different direction. Uh, we didn't follow the full instructions. Um, we wired it, we wired the wires in into the ignition switch. Which, every time I turn on my car, the fog lights will be on and that's the way I wanted it to be so it was kind of tricky to see how we were going to do it but like after we got it it was pretty simple and straightforward so uh, both of the grounds were here because it came with two grounds and two power sources uh, one power source is over here in the battery the other power source is in the fuse so yeah that's how it looks like There's a lot of stuff uh, like left to do with this car, and that's why I want to do this car. Like, um, first things first is, as you guys can see, the paint is kind of bad and fucked up. So I'm just gonna do a very cheap paint and do a plastic dip because since it, this car is just a project car, I really don't care how it's gonna turn out. Like even if I plastic dip it, I feel like it's gonna look pretty good. So. Plasti dip the cars next. I'm gonna do a video on that with Leo. And that's about it for this video. So, uh, what do you guys prefer? The low life or the lifted life?